and one you have to excuse the face. We've uh, had a bit of a rugby injury in court to stud, but um, it's been a while since we made a video due to being too busy and expecting our first child. So um, there's numerous videos been posted online lately about um, you must shoot with two eyes open. So I thought it's time I chirped in and gave my uh, voice my opinion on that. Um, you don't have to shoot with two eyes open. It's it's a simple simple fact. I mean, any instructor that tells you you should, I'd be walking away from that lesson or turn that video off immediately. Uh, we look at two shops, Alan Warren, Dave Carey, both good friends of mine. Um, Dave's been World Veterans Champion, a very accomplished game shot. Alan Warren's probably been the number one skeet shooter in the UK for numerous years. They've both only got one eye. Uh, it's not they, they uh, don't shoot with two, they only have one. So Dave has no issues judging distance on fit as layouts or on live quarry. And Warren has no objections seeing to his left on, on a skeet field. So you certainly don't have to shoot with two eyes open. Um, if you are predominantly left eye dominant, shoot right shoulder or vice versa, the options of shooting two eyes open are simply removed. You cannot do it. You cannot be consistent and uh, shoot with two eyes open. Shooting with one eye closed um, or patched, which we'll come to shortly, is not going to hinder your potential. You will always reach your potential, be that with two eyes or one eyes. And I intend to go around Kibworth on a 100 target tournament later this month and shoot it with a patch over my left eye to prove that it can be done judging distance and speed with, with simply one eye. Now, I'm not a fan of closing the eye. What happens when you close your eye? You're at the whole point, you mount onto the bird, you close that eye down and the barrel will jump because you're closing your dominant eye. The barrel will no longer be where you assumed that it was. So I'm not a fan of that. That's why I brought out my eye dominance rail. It wasn't to allow people to shoot with two eyes open. It was to alleviate barrel jump for shooters that do close an eye, i.e. my father who we designed it for. It has allowed people that are just slightly dominant to keep the both eyes open, very slightly dominant. But if you are properly, properly dominant in that left eye, I prefer a patch over the glass so the barrel doesn't jump. Now, some people like to go as small as possible. I'm not a fan of that. I like a good size 50p um, oblique patch over over the left eye. So you can see you can see round it if you need to. You can see it coming if you need to. Um, but as soon as we start to look down that barrel, that um, only the, the right eye can see down the rib and it gives you clarity of lead um, if you if you can't it's what you use to patch it what you use to do that patch is very important scotch tape white tape um, vaseline lips or anything like that that allows light to still come through will alleviate the headaches if you use a dark electrical tape or substance like that you're going to get a headache because your, your left eye is still working um, so do be careful what you do use you want to let a little bit of light through and not, and not give you a headache when you do so some people don't like that at all and they do like to close an eye. Now what's very important is when you do go for the eye closed option is that you close it at the hold point. Um, not shutting it down last minute. That's going to think you think you're going to see X amount of lead. The barrel simply not going to be where you assumed it was due to the eye closure. So unfortunately, a lot of the videos online are complete nonsense delivered by people that cannot shoot or instruct themselves. They're just trying to make a name for themselves on YouTube. Um, also, if you are having lessons of somebody that stating that you must shoot with two eyes open and you feel that you don't get that clarity, swap instructors immediately, drop me a message, I'll see if I can help you out. But you will always hit your potential, be it one-eyed or two-eyed. It's not going to hinder your performance. Olympics have been won with, a, with one eye. Um, as I said, sub, um, Nicole Hewing, a student of mine, left eye dominant, a 50p size patch over her left eye. She's been... European ladies fit ass champion, German fit ass champion, and got a fourth at the world fit ass in the ladies concurrent class. So it doesn't make any difference. People just talk utter nonsense. So I hope this might clear a bit of it up for you guys. What you need to have is clarity of lead. We've got to be able to repeat the process. If you've got two eyes open, you can see on the left or the right hand side of the barrel, but you don't feel you've got a physical measurement of lead that you can repeat, 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 or indeed change, change, change. And you try it with your left eye closed there is your answer go with what feels comfortable for you as i said i will shoot a full round at kibworth with a huge patch of my left eye to prove these naysayers wrong that one eye can be done like dave carry and alan warren have done already so thank
Stay safe, guys. I hope this clears some bits up for you, and we'll speak soon.